up y'all it's me Kena Vina. welcome back to my channel today we're in the kitchen and we're going to put together some shrimp fried rice so if you're interested in seeing how i put it together go ahead and continue watching all right guys i'm back with everything you're going to need to complete this meal first things first you're going to need about three eggs we're going to go ahead and crack these you're going to need some raw shrimp you're going to need some carrots and um green peas some onions, salt, black pepper, crushed oregano, minced garlic, garlic powder. Um, you're going to need some vegetable oil, some soy sauce, and also some Worcestershire sauce. So from there, let's get started. All right, y'all. I went ahead and melted two tablespoons of butter. As you can see, it's still melting in there. We're going to go ahead and add in our green onions. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add in our carrots and green peas. shrimp. From there we're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic, ground black pepper, make sure you season it good for the flavor. I kind of eyeball it, I don't go by um, tablespoons or anything like that when I'm cooking. I'm pretty sure y'all got that. Y'all know that about me by watching my videos. I'm going to also go ahead and add some garlic powder. The garlic powder is essential with every almost everything I cook. Go ahead and add some salt. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add the oregano. Alright. From there, we're going to go ahead and mix it up. Mix, mix, mix for about, you're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes on low heat. I didn't mix the seasoning up. And then we're just going to let it sit and cook for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so it's been about 5 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and go in and mix it up together and make sure... Everything is good, getting cooked evenly. And you can see there the cook are start the shrimp are starting to turn pink. Shrimp doesn't take that long to cook, but I want to make sure that the peas are cooked really well because they the peas and the carrots tend to be a little hard and we don't really want that. So we're gonna cook it down a little bit more for maybe five more minutes and I'll be right back I went ahead and fried my eggs I put a little salt and pepper on it and melted butter and fried them you don't have to add eggs because I realize that a lot of people don't like eggs so you can leave this stuff out if you don't like eggs but let me let me know down below if you like eggs or not because that's a really big thing some people don't eat eggs so there you go, you're gonna go ahead and put those to the side and now it's time to put it all together. All right, now it's time to put everything together. Off camera, I went ahead and made about three cups of white rice. So, that's what you're gonna need. I forgot to mention that you're gonna need rice. I made this off camera. So now, I'm gonna add in the fried eggs that we just made. Also gonna add in the shrimp, carrots, and green peas. You're gonna add all that in. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that all together. That looks delicious. 
already. I know it's going to be good. You want to make sure it's mixed up really good. I don't know where I got this little spoon, but it is so useful for rice, especially. I like the shape of it. That's pretty cool. I'm just making sure it's all mixed together. Ooh. Okay, from there, we're going to go ahead and add in some soy sauce and some Workshire sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and mix that all together. The soy sauce is what really gives it the color and a little bit of flavor, but especially the seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. There you have it. Shrimp fried rice. Very quick and easy. It took me about, I would say, with prepping and everything like that, prepping took me about 10 minutes. And to actually make everything, I would say about 25 minutes. So there you have it. Shrimp fried rice. So now you have everything you need to make the shrimp fried rice, the ingredients, everything. If you would like to add or subtract some things, go ahead and do that before the best king of bina takes. Go ahead and add everything I used today. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.